Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are doing Negotiable Instruments Act again. This is the second part of Negotiable Instruments Act quiz series. So yesterday we did 10 questions, 10 questions we have done yesterday and today we are going to do 10 more questions, very important questions for IBPS, RRB, Scale 2, Scale 3 exam. For the 2023 exam, there are important questions. Hai. Negotiable Instrument Act ki amendment we have also included in this. So let's start the session. Uh, before starting, let me tell you IBPS RRB Scale 2 course हमने start कर दिया है bankexamstudy.com पे You can join the course on bankexamstudy.com You can join it on our Android and iOS apps as well So link to join the course is available in the description Please check the description Let's start the session Who can endorse the negotiable instrument? Negotiable instrument कौन endorse कर सकता है? So negotiable instrument can be endorsed by the maker or the holder of the instrument जो भी बनाता है और whoever holds that instrument can endorse it, okay? So D both A and B is the correct answer according to the Negotiable Instrument Act 1881. So this question was there, easy question है that uh, it was enacted in 1881 and endorsement is an act of signing a negotiable instrument with the intent of negotiation. Signing a negotiable instrument with the intent of negotiation. What is negotiation? You are transferring the rights of the negotiable instrument. Right to payment, right to receive the payment. वो आपने किसी और को दे दिया, अपने rights को transfer कर दिया. That is negotiation. ठीक है. So endorsement का right किसके पास है? Maker or holder. <coughs> Sorry. In case of discrepancy between amount stated in words. And in figures on a negotiable instrument, which amount will be considered as the intended amount to be paid? Take an example of a check. In a check, if amount mentioned in the words is let's say 2 lakh rupees, 2 lakhs. Uh, and in figures, it is mentioned as 20,000 rupees, 20,000. Which one would be considered? The amount mentioned in the words would be considered. Amount mentioned in the words would be considered according to the section 18 of Negotiable Instruments Act. Very important question. Can be asked in the exam. Very interesting question in day to day life as well. Okay. Uh, what is the effect of dishonor of negotiable instrument on the maturity period? Whenever somebody dishonor a negotiable instrument, uh, he denies the liability. ओके okay. अपनी लायबिलिटी uh, को डिनाई कर देते हैं दे आर नॉट मेकिंग द पेमेंट ऑन द ड्यू डेट इट डज नॉट हैव एनी इफेक्ट ऑन द मैच्योरिटी पीरियड मैच्योरिटी पीरियड रिमेंस द सेम देयर इज अ डिफॉल्ट द होल्डर द पर्सन हु हैज द राइट टू रिसीव द मनी वुड सू द ड्रॉअर ओके तो दे कैन फाइल द केस ओके which of the following is not an essential element of a bill of exchange under negotiable instrument act it is an unconditional order amount should be there date should be there the purpose of the payment maybe the purpose is not mentioned all the time whenever for example whenever you issue a check the purpose of the payment is not mentioned a bill of exchange similarly should be unconditional amount should be mentioned the date should be mentioned the name of the instrument, I mean, even the person's name should be mentioned as well. The purpose may not be mentioned, okay. So it must be in writing, first of all. It must contain an unconditional order to pay. It must be signed by the drawer. It must specify the certain amount of money. It must specify the person or the bearer as the pay. It must specify certain date or the time of payment. It must name itself as bill of exchange. The purpose of the payment is not essential element. Purpose is not essential. Maybe may not be it is mentioned. It is not essential. Which of the following must be clearly stated on the bill of exchange. Sign date, amount payable, payment method, issuer address, pays date of birth is not required. Pays date of birth is not uh, required. Which of the uh, following is not clearly stated must be clearly stated so pays uh, date of birth is not required address is not required payment method and the date of the signature is not required amount payable should be mentioned for sure okay <clears throat> you can pause and read the explanations if you want uh, what is the what is the consequence if payment on the bill of exchange is dependent on 
any contingency or condition. What is the consequence? The bill of exchange is invalid. Yes, it is invalid because bill of exchange should be unconditional. It should be an unconditional order. It should not be based upon any condition. Kisi condition ke upar based nahi hona chahiye. A bill of exchange should be an unconditional order. So the first line uh, in the definition of bill of exchange under the Negotiable Instruments Act, it should be an unconditional order. What is the purpose of promissory note to record sale of goods to transfer ownership of the property? No, to make a promise to pay. So promissory notes, they are this is in promise to pay. This is not an order to pay. This is a promise to pay a certain sum of money. So C is the correct answer. It is a promise to pay. Uh, what is the purpose of uh, days of grace uh, provision under the negotiable instrument act to extend the maturity period of a negotiable instrument to reduce the maturity period to allow the holder of the negotiable instrument a grace period after the due date to present it for payment to increase the rate of interest now. So to allow the holder of the negotiable instrument a grace period after the due date to present it for payment. So three additional days are given. Three days are given. Every promissory note or bill of exchange which is not expressed or payable on demand at sight or on presentment at maturity on the third day after which uh, the day on which it is expressed to be payable. So this is the definition of gray, uh, days of grace. So three days ka grace period is there. Three days ka grace period anyways diya jata and this is I guess uh, what is the maturity period the same the section 24 is here. Uh, the maturity period of promissory note or bill of exchange that is payable on demand according to section 24 as it is payable on demand the uh, the instrument is due uh, for payment immediately upon its issue because it is payable on demand because of it is payable on demand so immediately it is liable to be paid how many days of grace are provided so in the previous uh, slide i told you how many days of grace period are provided for bill of exchange that is payable at a fixed date, fixed time, according to section 22 of Negotiable Instruments Act 1881. It, it, we have already explained that in the previous slides. Tindinka grace period is there. So, students, that was a pretty short session. IBPS RRB scale 2, scale 3 course is available on bankexamstudy.com. I hope you like the today's session. Every day we are doing 10 questions for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 exam. For various topics, you can go to bankexamstudy.com and join the sessions and join the course. So we have also started a WhatsApp group. So a limited uh, for a limited number of candidate students, we have started this WhatsApp group. In this group, we are going to share, we are going to discuss all the latest updates, all the news, everything related to scale 2, scale 3 exam important notes for uh, the scale to scale 3 exam all the financial awareness updates so everything uh, related to the scale to scale 3 exams we are going to share it on our whatsapp group link to join the group is available in the description please check okay and that's i guess all list of our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for all these exams who cracked their ibps rrb scale to scale 3 exams in the last four five years i'm really really happy for them uh, you can be one of them in the future. So join the sessions as soon as possible and join our WhatsApp group as well. Link is available in the description. Uh, this is my WhatsApp number. All the links, all the updates are available in the WhatsApp group. Link to join is available in the description. Please check all the links in the description. That's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.